Hello chaps and welcome back to Tino Core Care where I'll be showing you how to brush or wash your car. This is step 3 of the how to wash a car series where you will learn how to wash a car like a professional. The pressure wash is of extreme importance as this is a stage of the wash which removes most of the dirt. And in this video you will learn the best and most efficient way to complete this step. So we have completed the previous stage which was the pre-wash. Meaning that the dirt is very loose and soft, ready to be blasted off easily. What you will need is a pressure washer with a PSI of between 1000 and 2000. These methods will work at your local self-serve car wash too. And if you do not have a pressure washer, then you can alternatively use a garden hose with either an attachment or just your finger for added pressure. The first thing you have to do is analyze your surroundings and choose a general direction to push the water. For example, there might be a car on the right. So we'll need to push the water towards the left away from that car. Oh, if there's a car in the front, you're going to have to push the water towards the back. Away from the car and anything else you don't want to wet. Also, the wind may play a factor too. You can just move your car if the location is not ideal. Now that I've chosen a general direction, I'm going to keep this direction throughout the whole process. This ensures that dirt is not pushed back to a section which you have just cleaned. I can now pick up the pressure washer, right hand on the trigger and left hand facing down on the lance. Don't hold it like a rifle as this will give you less mobility. I would recommend getting one with a slight bend. This will help you clean the car at different angles. The main thing to keep in mind before starting is to keep around a 30 to 60 centimeter distance between the pressure washer gun and the car. So now I will create what I call the Tino line. This line runs through the entire near top corner and separates the car in two. Everything that is on this side of the line is pushed to the other side. So the top side always comes first as we use side to side motions with the pressure washer, pushing the water away from the line, washing the whole top side and not missing a single spot. If you're working on a large car, you can use a step ladder to safely pressure wash the roof. After the roof, you then move on to the front of the car. First, pressure washing the front windscreen and then everything out of this big gap before moving on to the bonnet. Once the bonnet is complete, the front face of the car is then pressure washed from top to bottom. So now everything that's left on this side of the line, we push it downwards, working from top to bottom. Notice the back and forth movements as you must not miss a spot. I swiftly make my way around the car. When I reach the bottom, I face the water upwards onto that lower corner of the car. So the trick when doing the side of the car is to not do the whole side at once. Instead, work your way bit by bit, pressure wash from top to bottom like this before passing to the next part of the side. Now that we have completed the front, top and near side, we move on to the back. Again, creating a line at the top then blasting off everything underneath. Then to finish off, you go around and finish the remaining side from top to bottom. When doing the final two sides of the car, you do not want to do the roof anymore as you have already pressure washed it. As you're working your way through the car, there are some points that need extra pressure washing as they typically contain more trapped dirt and mold. The main points are the window seals, mirrors, arches, raised cracks, crevices, the lower portions, around the number plates and door shuts. So chaps, you need to be as efficient as possible. Here is the wrong way of doing the pressure wash. As you can see, there is no strategy. A lot of missed spots and water has just been wasted. A section is being pressure washed and then dirt is being put back onto that same spot, meaning you have to wash it again. So to conclude, just remember the Tino line, which runs through the corner of the car. Anything above the line is pushed away. Everything below the line is pushed down. Honestly chaps, just remember the steps and enjoy it as pressure washing can be really satisfying and relaxing. You are now Tino approved and a pro at performing a pressure wash. Which is step 3 of our how to wash a car series. Click here for the next step. 
click here and watch the whole series and become a pro at watching your course.